Hey y'all, May May is here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. And today I am doing a product review on the Shea Moisture Moisture Miracle line. I'm gonna do a full review on the shampoo, deep conditioner, the, uh, the thicker leave that they have from this line and their gel and cream. So uh, I'm really looking forward to reviewing this line cause everything in this line is $5. Now, that's unheard of in the natural hair community, so this is definitely a steal, so if, if, the, if the products work. I did a twist out, as y'all can see, so if you want to hear my final thoughts on this entire line and how I feel it did for my hair, be sure to keep watching. Also guys, follow me on my socials, um, so want to make sure you're subscribed here and make sure you hit that bell notifications because you don't want to miss any of this awesome content that I have here on my channel. I do product reviews, curly hair tips, also going to be doing some chit chat soon. So you don't want to miss out on anything. So make sure you are subscribed and that you hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Also guys, let me know you actually like my content. So hit the like button down below and also comment. Tell me, hey, talk to me. I'd be lonely. I'm lonely. It's COVID. We're in a pandemic. I don't get to see nobody. So go ahead and comment down below. And guys, don't forget to follow me on my other socials. I'm here on Instagram at Maybe is here 911 and I'll be posting this look before it comes on YouTube. So you might as well be following me so you don't miss out on any content. You'll be the first to see anything that I post. So follow me on there. And also follow me on TikTok at Maymay is here. I have everything linked down below. So just go ahead and follow me on everything. Don't need to miss out. And who doesn't like TikTok and who doesn't like Instagram? So go ahead and just follow me. So that way you don't ever miss my pretty face. But anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in and be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss out on these products. So as I discussed earlier, I'll be reviewing the African Pride Moisture Miracle line. And don't mind me talking the video. I was kind of all over the place when I was recording. So you guys are going to get a voiceover today. But anyway, I start off with the Honey and Coconut Oil Nourish and Shine Shampoo. It claims to hydrate and elongate curls and coils. It is sulfate, mineral oil, paraben, and petroleum free. However, it does have silicones, which I personally don't mind and it also claims to be color safe. Now, for those of you who have been following me for a bit, you may know that I love this shampoo. If you need a moisturizing shampoo, this is an amazing option. And the fact that the shampoo is only $5 makes it even better. It smells really good without being overpowering, and it sets up quite a bit, but it also feels really creamy like a conditioner. And as you can see right here, it's defined my curls a lot, and I feel like that's pretty crazy considering I'm not even in the shower. This shampoo is truly amazing, and if you don't try anything else from this line, you should definitely try this product. I fully rinsed out the shampoo and left my hair super soft and moisturized, but clean at the same time. So next up is the Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox and Soften Heat Activated Mask. Like the shampoo, it's free of all that quote unquote bad stuff but does have silicone. So before I applied the mask, I separated my hair into four sections. I dampened my hair, took a whiff of the deep conditioner. It smells nice, a lot like how I imagine a soap to smell, and it's a little lighter in scent than the shampoo. And as for the consistency, it's really thick and creamy. Now, I started to apply the mask and honestly was not impressed. It doesn't have a lot of slip and it felt more like it was coating my hair. I split my hair into small sections and wet my hair a bit more, but the tangling still wasn't the best experience. What I did notice is that the mask was really defining my hair. And here's a few close-up shots to show you how much my curls were popping from this mask. And you know, definition is great, but the tangling was still a pain. It took me a half hour just to tangle one half of my head. I did the other side off camera in about 15 minutes. But as you can see, I couldn't get any of my brushes through my hair while I was struggling. <laughs> it was bad, y'all. It was bad. But I just finally detangled my hair and let it sit for about 30 minutes under my deep conditioning cap. When I rinsed up my hair, my hair was soft to the touch and it felt moisturized. So as far as actual benefits, this mask is great. But 
if you are in need of slip, I would advise using your favorite conditioner first to detangle, and then if you want the benefits of a clay mask that also softens and moisturizes, use this African Pride mask. As for someone who only deep conditions, this probably won't be a product that I reach for though. Next up is the coconut oil and baobab hydrate and strengthen leave-in cream. It has a nice floral scent without being too strong. And the leave-in is creamy and lightweight in comparison to the mask, but it still has enough thickness if you have relatively like thick hair or any of just heavier products. And it was pretty easy to apply and quite moisturizing. However, I don't feel like this is the best leave-in ever, but it's pretty good considering that it's only $4.99. So after separating my hair into smaller pieces, I apply the flaxseed oil and shea butter, curl defining gel and cream. Scent wise, I'm not a fan of this product. It's pretty strong and it just doesn't have a good smell to me. However, the product does have good slip and it's easy to apply. And I have used this product before for a wash and go and it really defined my hair, but it did not moisturize my hair in the slice, but which is why I paired it with this leave-in. So as you can see, I'm just twisting my hair up into medium-sized sections until I'm done. All right guys, I'm back and I'm done. Um, all the twists are not even in size and honestly I don't care because I think it's past one o'clock in the morning. Um, and again, I'm supposed to get up early to work out. Um, hopefully we still wake up early, me and my boyfriend, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow morning. Um, I'll probably come back on camera. Today is Tuesday night, so probably Thursday morning to show you the twist and the takedown. Um, I already do know for a fact that this product can provide a whole lot of definition. So if I don't necessarily get super great to find results, I know it's mostly user error on my part because um, I was just trying to get my hair done um, and out the way. So, but this is fine. It's kind of cool seeing myself with a different look and wearing twists instead of like my hair just out. So, I don't know, works for me. But again, I'll come back Thursday and show you all the final results. So I will see y'all then. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. It's Thursday afternoon and my twists are finally dry. Or at least I hope they are because I'm tired of leaving these things in. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out now. I'm just going to take this oil from Naturalicious. I really like it. It smells really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Put a little on my fingertips. And... Go ahead and start separating these. Right off the bat, it looks like I have a lot of definition, which I am definitely happy about.
All right guys, so this is my hair separated and honestly, I'm really liking this. Oh, I could definitely separate this piece though. Like, you see how big this piece was? It was huge. But I don't like how like certain parts of my hair are like down here and this is like up here. It looks kind of like, ugh. Shape is a little wonky, but that's a problem with my shape. Nothing to do with the products. Uh, not even so much my technique. I mean, technically, if I did smaller twists, I might have more shrinkage and then do bigger twists at the top and have like closer to the shape I want, but neither here nor there. But I'm going to fix this out a little bit to my liking and then I'll give my final thoughts on this product line. That's gonna have to do for the shape. Again, I'm not liking certain pieces. This is still a very big piece. Yeah. I really don't have, like how this piece is like right here. Like I don't know what to do about this because it's a shape issue. It's not a product issue really, or like even how I twist my hair type of issue. It's just, I don't know. My shape isn't the greatest right now. I don't know, I'll probably have to play with the sh uh, shape more off camera, but I got pretty good definition from what y'all can see. I did like undo a lot of things, so I wasn't super careful about how I did, so some frizz is bound to happen, but I do think this does have some good definition. Now my hair is definitely not crispy or anything, despite it being like a gel and cream product. So I think this... I think these two worked really well together for a twist out. I want to know how this will work for a wash and go because this on its own did provide me a lot of definition, but my hair was crispy and dry. So for me, this would not be a one and done product, but I feel like the two of these work really well together, especially for a twist out. And I'm getting plenty of volume, plenty of, volume, I have plenty of definition. Uh, honestly, I feel like I'm getting a whole lot of shine from this product too. I think it might be mainly from this, but I'm not sure. Um, but I, I really like my results. Let me know what y'all think, cause I'm feeling myself. This is cute. I'm not in love with my shape of my hair right now, but um, I can make it work cause I'm cute, so it's okay. I'm so cute. <laughs> And this is how the back looks. It looks bad. I haven't fixed the shape, so you know, completely. So don't judge me too much. But yeah, overall, guys, I do enjoy the line. I love the shampoo. This has been on my stash for a while already. So this I love. It's moisturizing, but also washes your hair nicely. So if you're looking for a good moisturizing shampoo that's also budget friendly. I think this is definitely a great option. Remember, all the products in this line are like $5. Excuse me. All the products in this line are like $5, so I would definitely pick up the shampoo. For the mask, um, again, it provided me with definition and to leave my hair soft and moisturized, but the slip is not really there. Now, again, there is Moroccan clay and other types of clays in here. So that's most likely why it's just focusing on making your hair super defined versus on making it easy to detangle. There is a conditioner sign and I know they reformulate it. So maybe the new conditioner works well before this to detangle and then add this for definition. Um, but I don't hate the product. I would definitely use it. If I feel like my hair is definitely not just curling like it normally does. I think I would definitely reach for this product in that case but I definitely want to reach for it all the time. And I don't think it would be a repurchase for me either. But it's not a bad product. So if you want to give it a try or want something that's uh, more moisturizing, but also has like clay-like qualities, then I say pick this up. Again, it's only $5. Uh, for the leave-in, love this product. Super moisturizing, has good slip. Um, and again, everything this line is affordable. So I definitely would, if you need like a good leave-in and you're having trouble finding like moisturizing products for your leave-ins, I feel like this is definitely also a great option. 
I remember people would complain about the smell, but I don't think it smells bad at all. I think it does have a bit of a, it just reminds me of soap, like a sweet soap, but it's not overwhelming. And this definitely provides some great definition. So if you need something with some good hold, um, I definitely think this is a good option. Um, my only complaint with this is I feel like the scent with this is a little bit strong. So this isn't my favorite product scent wise, but uh, ignoring that, it's not bad. The smell will linger for a little bit, but just go away after a bit. So uh, as long as you're not super sensitive to the smell, I think you'll also enjoy this product. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly jump in that this only lasts about two to three days with this twist out and became really dry after that time. I've used the leave a couple times since then and it worked pretty well for me. So I really think it's this gel and cream. Um, you know, if you want to pile another product like the leave-in that you have a curling cream and then put this on top, you can then see if that will work and you'll still get definition without being too dry. But I have used that curling cream before and it did provide good definition. So I don't know if this is really a necessary product. This wasn't my favorite and I would not be a repurchase um, for the reasons I just mentioned. Um, but you know, I always say try out products, see if it works for you. And if you have tried it, leave a comment down below and let me know what y'all think. So do I think this product line as a whole is worth a try? Yes. And there's more products I do want to try because they have a curling cream. They also have a pre-poo that people on the internet have been raging about. So I definitely want to try that as well. So yeah, this was this was a hit for me. I like this. This was a good line and I got myself a bond twist out and I'm not complaining. So guys, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit the bell for all future notifications. So that way you don't miss any future uploads from me. You don't want to miss out on any of this awesome content. I'm doing prog reviews. I'm hoping to do some chit chats real soon. Um, other curly hair tips like, I got plenty of content for y'all. You don't want to miss out on anything. So go ahead and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notifications. Also follow me on my Instagram at maymayishere911. That will be linked down below in the description box as well. Again, I'm there on there quite a lot. So, and anything you see on there is coming up before you see it here. So be sure to follow me on there. And also follow me on TikTok at Maymay is here as well. So make sure you're following me on all my socials so you never miss out on anything. And guys, I wanna thank you again for watching. And I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.